It's Boxing Charm unboxing time for the month of October. Got my box late. Second, this box is looking a little bit sus. Third, they violated me by not including the card that comes with the, the monthly boxy charm boxes which is basically the card that tells you all the items you got in the box the worth and what card number you got which i was gonna say i don't mind but i actually don't mind because i had to look every single item just to see exactly what it was and so i could explain to you guys so this month boxycharm and i are beefy because you let me down completely this month and the reason I'm saying that this month is sus is because I was looking at BoxyCharm videos and I feel like I got like a completely different set of items than other people which again shouldn't be bad but I mean we'll see throughout this video if the things end up being horrible or not but I do know oh I think it's for next month I don't think I chose for the month of October. Correct me if I'm wrong, was the Lunar Beauty eyeshadow palette supposed to be for this month or the month of November? Let's not get ahead. But for those that don't know what BoxyCharm is, it's basically a makeup subscription box that comes with five full-size items. And if you want to look into it, just go ahead and click the link in my description box. But starting off with the first item because I am here rambling. The first item, I got this Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Serum which has retinol. So in other words, this is an item that you would be using at night and this retails for, oh, it's an arm and a leg. It retails for $72. It just says that the serum glides on smoothly and leaves the skin feeling hydrated. Okay, I want to see like the benefits of this. The benefits are minimizing signs of aging, which is pretty obvious. Moisturize with jojoba. Hydrate with vitamin B5. I don't know what none of this means. But point is, I'm not going to be using this. I'm sorry to break it to you. Oh, I look so so bougie the second and third item are things that go together which is this eloise luxury eyeshadow brush set this retails i'm trying to see if i remember no i don't but it retails for it doesn't even say it just says it's sold out which again this is why like i'm a little salty that the boxy charm didn't come with the car but it just has four essentials brushes that help you blend with precision that's basically what it says each brush is super soft also love the fact that they are pink if you guys don't know i am so obsessed with the color pink i mean to be honest any color i always end up changing what my favorite color is it could be orange one day it could be burgundy the next but for majority of the time i do like the color pink and oh my god they're so <gasps> These are so cute. And it also comes with the ombre effect. So it's like coral and blends into the white. But now for the third item that goes with the brushes is this eyeshadow palette from Phase Zero. It's just the Necessities eyeshadow palette, which I'm guessing that they are all brown shades. And they are. It retails for $40. I've never heard of this brand, Phase Zero. Ooh. It's so plain that it's giving me Mario eyeshadow palette vibes. <gasps> the most satisfying part. That wasn't satisfying because I didn't pull it on one go. Oh my god, they're so cute. I am going to use the brown. Oh my god, it does. I just noticed it doesn't come with eyeshadow names. Oh, wow. I think this is the first time I've ever seen that. Usually, all the eyeshadows I get aren't named, but these aren't. But it just says that this eyeshadow has eight universal matte shadows. I'm going to go in with the brown all the way on the bottom right of the palette and put that on my crease whoa i was gonna say it looks darker on the eye than in the palette but it looks pretty much the same shade i think so i'll put that on my crease honestly this is a beautiful brown
now to blend that out i'm gonna also grab this light sand color which would be the first row the second first row shadow it's like so weird that it doesn't have no names because it's confusing to explain to you guys what shadow i am applying I'm actually like shook on how beautiful this shadow blends like this is a eyeshadow palette where the shadows blend exactly where you want them to blend so I feel like I don't even have a lot to blend because they already blended easily where I wanted it to go okay so what we're gonna do is finish my makeup and then use the last two items of this box I might still go ahead and add shimmer. I just want to see how the shadow looks with a full face of makeup. And then I'm going to decide whether to put the shimmer or not. Because I'm not hating just this brown eyeshadow look in my eye. So again, if we add shimmer at the end of this video, we add it. If we don't, then most likely I am. I actually love how it looks just plain. I'm being plain Jane today. I really said I was going to put the shimmer, but... I'm feeling the plain vibes. This is how the eyeshadow is looking. It's just brown with the little bit of sand blended on the edges. Nothing crazy. I do want to give the shimmers a swatch. I really love this pink shimmer. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why did I say okay like that? The thing is that this is a shimmer that is a shimmer, but it isn't a glittery shimmer. Does that make sense? It's more of maybe like a metallic, not metallic. I don't know how to describe it because it's not that shimmery where it has a lot of glitter. Like, oh my God, it's just a subtle shimmer. But I'm going to just keep this look. I don't want to ruin it. And now for the following item is... A bronzer this bronzer is from KD I'm like KNDR Beauty and it's the kind bronzer and I believe that's the shade this retails for $19 I took a sneak peek like always I thought it was gonna be a cream bronzer because it said cream but it doesn't look like it it just looks like a powder bronzer and if it's a cream bronzer i'm gonna literally throw myself out this window this literally reminds me of the butter bronzer packaging like identical even the color maybe the butter bronzer one is more green but it's giving me butter bronzer vibes so let's give ourselves a sun-kissed look but since i am powdering i'm gonna do the last powder that i need to do which is blush I'm gonna set the rest of my skin with blush i go in with the kk not the kk the kanye jenner we're going shopping blush i always love this blush and use this this is literally my go-to any blush you see me wearing well not any majority of the time i am using this blush i also added my contour a little different so i feel like it looks a little weird and maybe i didn't blend it completely because i did it where you put a line maybe i'll just include a clip of me putting it because it is a little bit harder to explain but it does give a different finish to your face like i feel like i look like like a fish and that's exactly how i want to look I added some color to my life again I love that blush it's like a perfect kind of pink but not that pink it's like right in between but now for the last item of this box I got this Tress Loose Lip Tint in the shade Daring oh my god I guess this box was like a full vibes it's screaming full vibes and this retails for $18 I couldn't find it on their site but I did see that they have it in Ulta um never heard of this brand either so we're gonna see how we apply it so let me read directions because it's a lip tint so do I put it and then remove it or just leave it on it doesn't say so we're just 
gonna wing it okay i think i am gonna line my lips i kind of didn't want to whoa the one is looking hot pink so this lip tint might be deceiving and not actually be like a brown mauve shade oh no <laughs> it is a mauve shade don't know how to feel about it this is not giving me the vibes whoa i did not do that on camera i should have but i wiped it off because i didn't like how it was looking and i already tinted my lips God. To be honest, I never really used the lip tint. So if you guys are like, why are you tripping? Because this is my first time ever using a lip tint. I've always been scared of them for some reason. Oh my god. I love it. And now we're gonna go and sum up the whole box of October for me. So I said this box was looking a little sus and I should stop judging everything as soon as I open it up because we always go through this process where I'm like, I don't like this box and I end up liking it. Or when I say I love the box, I end up hating it. But to be honest, I really enjoyed every single item starting off with the serum. I haven't used it, but I am excited and looking forward to use it. The thing that I am completely in love is with this eyeshadow palette. I just absolutely love the browns and the sand. I am going to get a use of them. Like, look at my brown eyeshadow. It looks so stunning. Especially right now that we are in the fall. The shimmers, I am excited to play with them and give them a chance. Because I didn't give them a chance today. And then would be the eyeshadow um, brushes. With eyeshadow brushes, I just feel like you can't go wrong with having a lot of brushes. Especially me because I get lazy to wash my brushes and when i don't got no more brushes i just use brushes that i haven't used and then i am forced to wash them because they are all dirty i know it's not the most hygienic but i'm keeping it real and then would be the bronzer which i am having a hard time to find so we're gonna use the packaging so with the bronzer it's just like any other bronzer i will be using it but i feel like i have enough bronzers for right now so like boxy charm if you're listening don't send me no more bronzers and then is the lip tint which i wish should like i never knew this is how lip tints work that's why i was like questioning it like do i put this on and then remove it but i did remove it and i apply a little bit more in the middle and it's just so beautiful and it picked up right away which had me shook because sometimes i think if i'm not wrong again correct me if i'm wrong because i never used the lip tint you're supposed to leave it on for like 10 minutes and then remove it but again I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me, but that's it for this box. I really enjoyed this box, and this box was uh, good for me. It passes. I actually love this box, so I am I'm just leaving off on a happy note on this video. In the beginning of the video, I was like a little bit salty, but now I am fine. I am happy, but if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!